decided we're putting corn all along this side here of the bed. So same thing. Corn also needs 20 centimeters between. So we're going to make a hole there in the corner. And we're going to gently as possible take that out. Put it in. Same thing, 20 centimeters apart. If you don't have a ruler, that's 5 centimeters, that's 10 centimeters, and that's 15 centimeters. I'm oh, sorry, okay. yes, 15, 5, 10, 15. Okay. okay, doing some sign language here. Yes. And so we go on. Corn does get quite thick, it's going to be standing up quite high and bushy, so we need space in between. So you're not a little bit closer to the wall there, no? Put a little, little further out there. So let me just explain, this is an ordinary trench bed that we've dug before, treated the correct way. And then we just put some planks around to contain it. It's not necessary to do that. But it helps to keep the soil together and hopefully the pooch out who's lying here ready to jump. So it keeps him out a little bit. And the trench has been filled the proper way with all the goodies as we have shown you previously. The trench dug the. Oh, look at all the little, take note of the little, little good bugs running around that here. are. Of fertilizing Which our means soil. Our soil is in good shape. Good shape and going to give us a wonderful vegetable yield. It's basically the same soil that was also in the in the seed tray. Seed trays, where they've a, grown quite nicely, so we know. We know we've and got this good is soil. homemade compost. Take note. I didn't buy any compost. This is a mixture of stuff coming from the kitchen. And Vinny's uh, horse manure juice, and it works. Works a treat. Okay. Days.